Hey guys, Wes from Insert Frame here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a search bar to your Framer site that filters in real time. As you can see, when I type something in, it starts filtering letter by letter, and that's what makes it real time. So there's a lot of really exciting things about this. Not only can I search by the title, but I can also search by the author's name. You can see there, Georgia, if I search for my name, Wes. So that's come up with all the ones by Wes. Uh, but I can also search by the color. You can see I've got red there. I've also got blue. Uh, but I can also search by number. So you see how it has these little numbers here. If I search by 12, you can see that. And it, this one has a one in it, and this one has a one in it, so they all show up. Virtually any field that we set up in the CMS, I can search for. Another cool feature is that the search bar includes the number of items that you have in your CMS collection. So to build this yourself, we'll head over to the Superfields dashboard and click the real-time search bar. Then we'll copy the Superfields component. We'll go into a fresh page here. I'm going to paste it onto the page, just like that. And then we're also going to grab this search bar component there. We'll grab this and then paste it here. Cool, I just wanted it right on top there. I'm going to set them both to fill just before I do anything else. And once you've done that, your page is going to look like this, or at least something similar. I'll point out that I've wrapped the two components in a stack, you can see here. But as long as they're both on the same page, it'll work the same way. Next thing you'll need to have is a collection list uh, on the canvas, but not on the page. To get one, you just go to the insert panel. See under CMS, there's collection lists, and this will show up. Uh, you might have a lot of different collection lists and you just grab the one that you want. We've already got one here that's pre-styled so I don't need this but that's how you would do one yourself. Next you'll need an empty state and all this is is it's just a frame that shows up when nothing matches the search that you're trying to type in. You can actually put whatever you want in here and style this however you want. This is just how we decided to do it. it just shows that there's no search results and then a button here that resets the search. So now what we can do is drag this connector here to both our collection list and it's going to ask us if we want to connect it to the collection list or the empty state. Obviously want, we want this one to be the collection list. Then we'll do the same thing for the empty state. Click. Great. So now we've got everything hooked up and if we preview it, we can search real time. Dynamic. You can see there it is searching. We could leave it here if we wanted to. But if we do, we're actually missing out on this really awesome opportunity to be able to search for other fields like author. See, it doesn't actually work. And if we want to do that, we'll back out and select the Superfields component, just this one here. And we'll go over to the Properties panel on the right. And automatically, I've got mine switched to Yes on Search. If it's not, it might be like that. You just click Yes. And then it's going to show us all the fields that we can search by. So I'm going to add in author. And the thing is, you want this to be the exact same spelling as the actual field here. And if you want to see what other fields that you can search by, just take a look in your CMS fields. And then you can filter by all of these, except for this featured one. This is just a toggle. So any of the ones here that have like a text field, something you can actually type in, you wouldn't be able to search by image either, you can use. So title, author, what else do we have? We had color, and then we also had number there as well. So we'll just test that out. Number, yep. And then we'll try the name, yep. So from here, you can customize it any way that you like using the properties panel. If I wanted to make the search bar, a different color. You could easily do that just by dragging it around here with the fill. And you guys are designers, you already know how to customize it. You'll probably understand the concept of corner radius. So that's how you add a real-time search bar to your site. Really hope this helped and that you have a great day.